Hey everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the podcast WordPress theme. You will learn how to set up your homepage to look just like the theme demo and I will explain the theme's features and settings. Ready to get started? Let's go! This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5 and version 1.06 of a podcast theme. Some parts of this video might be outdated for future versions of WordPress or of the podcast theme. To install the free podcast theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for podcast in the search field. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If your WordPress website is new and has no content, this is what the homepage will look like right after activating the theme. WordPress will automatically add some standard widgets to the sidebar, but you can delete them on the widgets page. The podcast theme comes with some built-in color styles, seven at the time of recording this. Go to the Customize page, open the Theme Settings tab and check out the available palettes. If you would like to customize your theme with your brand colors, then you would need to add some custom CSS code. I have a separate video on this topic, you can watch it later on my channel. Now let's look at the themes demo and see what content is displayed on the homepage. After that, I will show you how to set up every part of it. In the header, we have a website logo and the primary menu. At the top of the page, there is a large section divided into two columns. The larger column to the left is used to feature the latest podcast episode. The smaller column to the right is a widgetized area, so you can add any widgets to this part. The next section on the homepage is another widgetized area called Homepage Subscribe Bar. Below the subscribe bar, the homepage can display the thumbnails and titles of free featured pages. You don't have to manually create this layout, the theme does it for you. Finally, the homepage will display the latest blog posts, followed by the website's footer, which is also divided into two widgetized parts. Now let's look at every section separately and see how they are all set up. To upload a website logo, go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity tab. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, the UI will offer you to crop it or you can skip cropping to use the full area of a chosen image. Many users don't notice the skip cropping link. The podcast theme has a single menu location in the header of the website. I have a separate video about creating and using menus. If you are new to WordPress, I suggest that you watch that video. The Newest Episode section can be quickly set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings tab. All you need to do is select a Posts category that contains your podcast posts. You can also change the Newest Episode label. The right column is a widgetized area, so you can add anything to it. The theme demo has an image widget and a text widget, with some custom HTML in it. Feel free to experiment and see what works best for you.
the subscribe bar works best with a single standard text widget. The widget title uses the H1 tag. The Featured Pages section is also set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings tab. Simply choose three of your existing pages and they will be displayed here. Your pages must have featured images. Let's create a new page and display it in this section. Go to the dashboard and add a new page in the Pages section. Click the Set Featured Image. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. Back in our customizer, let's choose this newly created page as one of the featured pages. And there it is. Now let's look at the audio player for your podcast episodes. If you add a link to your episode inside of a post or a page, WordPress will try to automatically fetch the player code. This will work with many hosting platforms like YouTube and SoundCloud. But this works only inside of posts and pages. But how do we get a player on the homepage and archive pages? What you have to do is add the player's embed code to a post's excerpt field. Here's how to do that. First, open the Edit Post page. If you're using the Block Editor, look on the right and make sure that the Settings section is open. If not, click the gear icon. Look for the Excerpt panel. If it's not there, go to the top right corner of the page, click the three dots, scroll to the bottom and click the Options link. In this new pop-out, enable the Excerpt Document panel. Close the Options pop-out and click the three dots again to close the menu. Now you have the Excerpt box every time you create or edit a post. If you're using the Classic Editor, the Excerpt box will be at the bottom of the page. If it's not there, Scroll to the top of the page and click the Screen Options link in the right corner. Make sure to check the Excerpt checkbox. Now open your podcast episode on your hosting platform. For this example, I will use the latest episode of Bill Burr's Monday Morning Podcast, which is hosted on SoundCloud. Click the Share button and switch to the Embed area. Select the code, copy and paste it in our Excerpt box. Feel free to add text before or after the code. Publish or update our post. Now you will have your player code on all archive pages where this post is displayed. Please note that every hosting platform is different and provides different embed options. The theme doesn't do anything specific to any particular platform. It only displays the code. Some podcast hosting platforms might prevent you from having multiple players on the same page. So in such cases, there's not much you can do. This feature just will not work as expected. Here's what you can do if you have more questions about this theme. You can use the community support forums on wordpress.org to post your questions or leave a review for the theme. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video to be helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.